Welcome everybody to another MVP Collectibles unboxing. Today I have the Batman Family, um, Batman Family Quarter Master statue by Quantum Mechanics. Um, so there's no art box, there's nothing too fancy. Um, so let's just crack this guy open. Um, this piece I, I have been excited about. It's not like, I'm not super excited for about, about it. Um, I would say I'm more excited about it than a hot toy, less than a premium format of other statues. Um, but this is the second, this is the second box that I've received. Oop, and it, I opened it upside down, oops. Uh, <laughs> this is the second box that I received that is not, does not have sideshow. That's not a sideshow box. The first one I have a Black Manta statue from DC Collectibles. Looks like I opened it upside down. Oh well. But uh, there is gonna be like a mini little art box here. So it looks like this is gonna be the back, the side. This will be the front of the art box, and then the other side. Um, it has a one on it, which means I'm pretty sure this is the first of many. Uh, first of many from this line. Um, let's just stand up. Inspected by check, so it looks like they checked off, and it has a little check thing. You guys can probably tell um, this is a not my not my normal unboxing area of my house. Oh, that's kind of neat. We get a little art print, kind of, sketches of what it's supposed to look like, what it is. And then you also get a certificate of authenticity as well, limited edition Batman Quartermaster. This document certifies Batman Quartermaster as an original limited edition sculpted by Quantum Mechanics Inc. under license from Warner Brothers Consumer Products. Only one figure of this type is in in this edition will be produced with the number below also valuable under the base of the figure itself. And they have signatures, blah, 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 blah. I have number 1,333 out of 1,500. So let's just figure out. I have no idea what's the top and what's the bottom, actually, but, oh well. I don't know, it's kind of strange that they don't put, they did not put top and bottom on it, but, you know, whatever. This, I'm, this, uh, tablecloth, I'm, this, that I'm on is driving me fucking insane right now. It keeps moving on me. And I'm close just to taking it off, but. Yeah, I also, I have the light right there, so it's kind of very light there, and then it gets dark, so I do apologize for that. Okay, if you've watched any of my recent unboxings, this knife I am using, I'm about to fucking kill. It is so epically dull that it doesn't seem to want to do anything. It can't cut through butter it feels like.
but yeah, I am, I am, de I am definitely excited about this, about this statue. Um, even if it's something. Very Jesus. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this thing's really cool. This thing's really cute and cool. So here's very Jesus Christ, can you focus camera? What the heck? Okay, guys, sorry, but the camera's being a fucking bitch. There we go. So there you guys go. That's everything that's in the uh, box. Very simple. Comes with a uh, base, which you can see here on the left, and the statue itself. Base, very light. Nothing too fancy about that. The uh, bottom has the sculptor's signature, uh, the creative director's signature, the number, limited edition number, all that good shit. Sorry guys, I am going, I'm gonna put him up towards me, then of course. Wow. This thing's really cool. One solid piece. Wow. Well, that was the easiest unboxing I've ever done for anything. So, here he is. Um, very cute. Actually, just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him on this tone table over here. So just give me just a quick second. Um, this, for this, thing for this uh, statue, I will only be doing one video for the unboxing and the review. So hang with me there. Wow. This thing turned out great. Um, the bat symbol paint on Batman himself is not very good. Um, He's got a f fleck of white here on his chest. Um, but when you pay 200 bucks, you can't, you, it doesn't have to, the QC doesn't have to be perfect. If this was a $500 statue, like my next statue is gonna be, I'm gonna want it there to be no QC issues and I'll be upset. I'm not really upset at a small fleck of white paint. Um, this guy's is really cute. It's really cool. It's very easy as you guys just saw to put together. Um, now, I'm gonna go through and tell you guys who all of these people are. I don't know for sure these two. I know one's Damian Wayne and I know the other's Tim Drake. I believe that this one, the one here in the back is T Thomas, not Thomas, is uh, Wayne, is his son. I believe this is Tim Drake. I don't know that for a fact. This of course is going to be Jason Todd, Red Hood. This is going to be Dick Grayson. This is gonna be Bobo Gordon. Batgirl. Red Hood, Robin, Robin, and Nightwing. And then of course, Batman. Um, 
I'm just trying to get all the little details out. Um, I will now do the review. So that, w that was the unboxing, guys. Very simple, very easy. Um, I will now be doing the review. So I'll just give you guys a quick 180 here. Um, and now I will give you my overall thoughts and impressions. After that, I will give you guys close-ups. I will then go grab a tape measure, which I forgot to grab, unfortunately. There might be one here right behind me, but we're gonna have to find out. Um, this is really cool. Less than a hot toy. So this thing is about, it's, the price I believe is $199.75 one, one or something. I believe he's still available. Go definitely pick him up if you're a fan of the Batman or Batman family, because you get a lot of story in this one small little piece. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, it's just awesome. It's just, it's just so cute. You don't, you don't hear too many people say that their statues are cute, right? This is just really cute. I mean, it tells such an awesome story, you know? Um, I mean, if you had to ask me who's my favorite of these, I'm probably gonna go with him. Um, I mean, he's my favorite overall as a character, but um, my, my negatives on this piece, uh, QC's not the best. There's a couple of little paint issues in Batman himself. I'd have to really, really spend a long time staring at it to really probably notice all of them. But they did a great job here. Oh, yeah, and there's another one on his mouth. That one's even bigger. Um, oh, well. Can't win them all. Um... Other than, other than the QC issues, I don't really have any negatives. Um, it's just an awesome piece. Again, I don't know which one of these 100% is, the, uh, is going to be. Uh, God, what's the, I'm, I'm blanking on his son's name. And I'm sorry that I'm, I'm blanking on his name. It's Jason Todd, it's Tim Drake, and it's, God. It's not Thomas Wayne, that's his dad, whatever. I, I, I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, but I don't know really what else to say about this thing. It's really cute, it's really cool. You know what, this thing is small enough where I actually think I can move him better than moving the camera. And he can stand without the base. So if you don't want the base, he can stand without it as he's doing right now. But let's see if I'm just gonna move this so I can do this better, okay. So here's gonna be the boots. Pretty, you know, cool, whatever. Legs, cool. Um, he's just, I don't know, he's just really awesome. You know, um, I actually realized, guys, it's gonna be a lot easier with the camera to get in with the 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 kids so i'm sorry i know moving the camera sucks but we'll start with little bobo gordon here awesome she's the only one with um eyes I don't know exactly why they did that. Hold on, I'm just gonna move this computer out of the way just a little bit. 
but she does have the colorful eyes. They're green, as they're supposed to be. Moving on up, we got Red Hood, which you guys can see right here. Then you have the two Robins. Um, I don't really know where this Robin's, oh, okay, that Robin's hand and the fist, so. But I also do really like that smart that smoke he's got on his face. These guys is uh, red hoods and this and this Robin's interaction is my favorite because they're like you know like they're beating each other up. That's why I actually might might have been mistaken. This Robin might be J uh, might be Tim Drake because Tim Drake came directly after. Uh, this this guy so Damian Wayne that's his name okay Damian Wayne I'm gonna say is that one Tim Drake I'm gonna say is Jesus sorry for the light is going to be that one you guys can argue with me or do whatever you want um awesome simply awesome and see they do have different symbols on, but I can't see that, Robin. Um, there you guys go. Here's going to be Nightwing. Nightwing's just over here just chilling. I'm a big fan of this Nightwing because he's over here just completely just, he doesn't care. He's just resting on Batman's. He, he's, look at the smile, you know. He's just hanging out. He, he's just, you know, he's just having a good time. Um, there's a small QC issue in his eye. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like a tiny, 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 tiny speck of blue. The QC issues on Batman. Right here, there's a fleck of white. Then below his lip. You guys can, you guys can see, it's not focusing, but you guys can see that dark spot there on his lip. Um... This is just cool. I don't really know how else to say this, except it's just cool. I'm now going to turn it around so you guys can see these guys from the back. You guys get to look at my kitchen. Now we'll go all the way down Batman, right there. The base, very simple, just a large bat symbol. It's actually really cool. Like if you, like if you could figure out a way to even like get the foot pegs off, that would be something that you could probably end up putting on your wall actually. All right, so that's gonna be this guy. He is, this guy is really cool, okay? Um, two CSUs, couple here and there, but for $199, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Definitely. 100%, I would definitely start picking this, this guy up. He is pretty damn cool. He is. Um, there's some there's some small little details like her holding his his finger, um, the way that his hands are, gra are grasping his cowl. You know, just things like that. Um, you also have this hand holding his cape back. And the other thing is Batman smiling. Batman doesn't smile very often, so it's kind of a cool pose. Really dynamic, really cool piece. Also, something that that is that is cool that I would like to add is that his Red Hood's helmet has a glossy look to it, and you guys can even pick that up a little bit. 
but just by look, just looking from here, it has this cool little glossy look. Um, this Robin, who I'm going to call Tim Drake, uh, his fist. I don't know if he's trying, if he's going to punch Damian Wayne or if he's going to try to swing and punch. I'd assume it's going to be this guy, Jason Todd Red Hood. Um, or he's just got it there just to have it there, you know, because he's holding his hand like this. So whatever. I got not, not much else to say about this. This uh, unboxing and review of this awesome one, I believe it, I don't, it's like, I don't know, one six scale, I guess. Um, Quartermaster Batman Family by Quantum Mechanics. Quantum Mechanics Studios. I don't know, collectibles, I don't really know their name. Uh, I'm sorry my, the, for the light, I'm sorry for the camera, keep focusing and unfocusing. Um, my next statue will be Catwoman, most likely. Uh, my next Hot Toy, Superman, or Aquaman from the Aquaman movie. So that's what's coming up. My, the end of the year, I have, I'm supposed to be getting several, several statues, unless they get delayed, which they might, because mo most of them are off by Prime 1, so who knows. Um, really awesome. This is an awesome little, not inexpensive, not takes up, doesn't take up a lot of room. It's just cool. Pick it up. I believe it's still available um, through Sideshow. Um, again, it comes with a little art print, like a drawing, I guess, of what it was supposed to be or what it is, I guess. This is pretty close to what it turned out to be. So, And then it comes with a certificate of authenticity. And check it out. Pick it up. Um, this has been an MVP Collectibles unboxing and review for this awesome little less than a hot toy, which this thing is worth more than a, I would. I would have this probably before I have a hot toy. It's close. It depends on the hot toy, um, but it's dope. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, do all that good thing, things. Ask me questions about my collection. Um, after I get all these statues in that I'm supposed to be getting at the end of the year, um, I will, I'm not getting anything for a long time, so I will definitely be doing different videos and things like that, countdowns and things like that. So until my next video, guys, Skull Vikings, check this guy out. He's awesome. And bye-bye.